so first question is out of 32 students uh, eight are absent what percent of students are absent see what what are you finding you should write it first and before even that can you hear me just say yes or no because in yes sir yeah before even starting the question you should write some statements uh, number of students equals to 32 fine number of students absent equals to 8 is this thing clear yes sir what are you finding can you tell me what are you so the percentage of how many students are absent absent so write that thing now absent okay absent percent number of student absent number of students absent upon total number of students into 100 this is fine okay make sure you write this thing now how many students were absent eight out of 32 now i just wanted to ask why you have not cancelled eight and eight so it will be one into 25 answer should be 25%. Just be careful in your calculations. Is this thing clear? Yes, sir. Okay, next question. There are 25 radios, 16 of them are out of order. Out of order means? What do you mean? So they're not working. They are not working. <laughs> what percent of radios are out of order so again your statements are missing okay statements are missing so what should be your first statement can you tell me what will be the first statement so total amount of radios uh, we don't call amount. Amount is used for something like money or uh, something like rice, amount of okay, amount of rice, amount of dal. Whereas when things are very solidified, na, like pens, radios, TVs, we count them. Okay. Amount is normally used when it is not countable. So we call it number of radios. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Number of radios equals to 25. What will be the next statement? Radios out of order. Yeah. Number of radios uh. out of order. How many out of order are there? 16. 16. Yeah. So these two statements are important. Now moving ahead, uh, here, what we will write here? What we will write here quickly? Percentage of radios are out of order. So we will write radios out of order. percent so this is fine so 16 were there so i'm just doing it here for my own sake can you hear me yes sir so 25 1 and 25 4 what is 16 into 4 
16 into 4 is 40 plus 24. I guess 64 percent it should be. Okay, Avni, I'll just try to explain it to you. Why by just looking at it, I thought the answer is wrong. So there were 25 radios. Let's say there were 25. Okay. You are saying 40%. 40% means it is less than 50%. Isn't it? Yes, no. Yes, sir. What is half of uh, 25? Somewhere around 12.5? Yes. Do you really think so? 16 is less than 12.5? Is it making sense to you? Yes, sir. So out of 25 radios, 16 were not good. That means it is obvious that it is it will be more than 50%. So that's why while doing calculation, just be careful. Now, third question. Again, your statements are missing. So I'm not going to discuss that thing. In the first two questions, we have already discussed. The question is a shop has 500 items out of which five are defective. What is the percentage of defective? So here, what, what we will write? Here, what we will write? So percentage of defective items. Very good. So we can just simply write defective. Percent okay for simpler reason defective items upon total items. Yeah, very good. Zero zero got cancelled. Uh, uh, okay. So cancel this part also now. Then only it will be one percent. Good. Okay, good. Moving ahead to the next question. Okay, there are 120 voters, uh, 90 of them voted yes. What percentage of voted yes? So again, what we will write here? So percentage of voters who said yes. Yes, very good. So I'm just writing for now, yes percentage. So voters who voted yes upon total voters, 90. Again, I'm just doing it for my sake. 90 upon 120 into 100. So zero and zero got canceled. Two, six, two, five. Now, after this, where is the working? Okay, nine. Two, three, two, forty-five. Now three, one, and this is three times fifteen. So what is left? Fifteen into five. So we have to do fifteen into five. Make sure you do this, copy this thing. Your working is incorrect. 15 into 5 is 50 plus 25 is 75%. Okay. Yes, sir. 